Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today we're going to use Katie's Bubbles La Terra Verte, which is a nice grassy green, sort of fougere-ish. It's not, not quite as deep green as some of the fougeres, but it's a very good soap uh, in its own right, a nice springtime soap or anytime soap as far as I'm concerned. The price on this is $14 for four ounces or 3.5 $3.50 an ounce, and as you can see on the IMCDB cost chart, that's in the thumbs up territory, so very good on that. <clears throat> We're gonna be using the Razor Rock Lupo Stainless Steel DLC Razor with the Repira Blade and our Polar uh, G4 brush. Uh, and the scent strength on this, I call it right dead in the medium, about a, uh, about a five. This is an older, version. This is back when they had the eight ounce uh, tubs and I've loaded a little bit to sort of uh, cut down on the time of the video, but I'm going to load just a little bit more. Make sure I get a nice load today. I'm, I really need this shave today and I'm sure that many of you out there are deeming, needing a, a great shave or something positive to sort of uh, fill your days with these days. And I tell you what, the shaving is uh, it's one of those things that you can do and just enjoy and sort of put your worries aside for a moment in a time where there's a lot of stuff to, to worry about, you know, with Corona and all. And I know all the videos are speaking to it. Um, and I don't want to, you know, belabor the point, but, uh, you know, it's gotten quite serious in Italy. I saw where there were 800 deaths overnight the other night. So it is very, very serious, and I hope everyone is taking it serious and taking the precautions that are necessary to protect yourselves and your family, and even if you're young, because I noticed initially in some of the videos, you know, folks were somewhat cavalier about it, and now I think it's hitting home that this is a this is an illness that, you know, whether you're young or not can affect you, can put you in a hospital. A lot of the people who have been hospitalized are young, so please don't think just because you're young, this is nothing to take seriously. And even, you know, if, if you're young, your parents, your grandparents, your relatives, your neighbors, are older and are at risk, and maybe you're young and have a condition like asthma, which could be complicated by this sort of illness. So please, please, I ask that you take it seriously and Take all the precautions that are necessary. Ooh, this is a great smelling soap. I would just describe it as, it's not like um, freshly mown gra mowed grass, it's lighter. It's, uh, <clears throat> I think on the on the top, they on the lid, they say oak moss, sandalwood, and patchouli. I don't get much patchouli out of this, but you definitely get the oak moss and sandalwood. Really beautiful scent, in my opinion. And Katie's Bubbles is a good time-tested quality soap. As far as I'm concerned, <clears throat> I have many Katie's Bubbles soaps. And uh, I've used them a ton over the years, and they've really never let me down. And here we go with our Lupo, which I've really been enjoying. And folks, now is a great time just to you know, use, the, use the gear that you really enjoy. So today, I just pulled the Lupo out because is such a smooth shaver for me. And even with this repair blade, it's feeling quite good. Just really nice and smooth. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen the other videos, they do Razor Rock, where Italian Barber does intend to release this uh, razor in plain stainless, non-coated. So, and it will be cheaper. So that's great. I really like these value type offerings that uh, Razor Rock puts out. This for me is one of my favorite shavers. Super smooth. It's about medium aggressive, right at that, I would call entry level of medium. And it just feels great. And I have really enjoyed <clears throat> using this razor. That was a really nice, super smooth first pass, which is exactly what we want. I hope you all have been enjoying 
your shades and enjoying some time at home with the with your loved ones. I know some people are probably getting tired of it because you've already been at home because you can't work, you know, outside the home, uh, a lot of folks. And so hopefully you're not getting on each, <laughs> each other's nerves. I'm still dealing with a little bit of cough, but I'm mostly over it at this point. But uh, my wife and I have been getting along just fine. We're not killing each other yet. <laughs> so that's good. I don't expect that we will. Uh, we're, you know, just, we're following the protocols and just, you know, I had to go out today to get some essentials from the store and it, man, it looks like a bomb went off in the supermarket. There's no meat, it's all gone. The entire frozen sections are gone, nothing. And obviously, needless to say, there's no toilet paper, there's no paper towels, nothing like that. Um, some canned food and same things, but surprisingly plenty of snacks, which, blew my mind <laughs> all the meat's gone all the frozen stuff but plenty of snack food which normally would be the opposite <laughs> in this type of situation but uh folks went are buying the perishables which is you know that's cool but man there wasn't much and when i went in the supermarket the employee was right there to give you hand sanitizer and then he sprayed down and washed the cart before you got it which i thought was excellent I must say hats off to you people who are still working the grocery stores. Hats off to you people like Manny, who's a truck driver. You guys are the heroes right now. I don't think you people understand, or a lot of people, that we wouldn't have anything if not for the truck drivers. Nothing. Everything in this country, the United States, gets to the stores via trucks, you know, tractor trailers. And we would literally have no supply of anything if not for those truck drivers. And so... You know, big props to guys like Manny from SoCal Shave, um, who's a truck driver. And I don't know what sort of goods he transports, but it doesn't really matter because everything they're transporting is important in this stage where everything's been bought up. Those guys are heroes. And I know sometimes we get behind them on a hill or something and we're angry when they're too abreast and you can't pass, but... Man, if not for those truck drivers, of which my dad was a, a truck driver, they work hard, they work long hours, they don't make nearly enough for the type of work they do. Um, they have great patience and great skill in driving those trucks. And so if you're, you're a truck driver or someone in your family is, my head is off to you. You guys are doing a terrific job keeping us supplied. And uh, obviously, hats off to the, all of you in the medical you know, profession and just everybody who's doing their part. Because a lot of people are pulling together, you know, to make sure everybody has the things they need. Uh, fast food workers, hats off to you guys and, res and, and the restaurants who have stayed open to make sure, you know, people can grab a bite to eat. Please, folks, don't forget those people when this is over because they're the ones keeping everything together. You know, I know a lot of times we look to government, you know, or a lot of people do. Um, but I'm telling you, look to these retail workers, to these truck drivers, to these medical professionals who are really doing a heck of a job. <clears throat> Thanks to all of you. And I mean that sincerely. We couldn't, we, we'd have nothing without you. So anyway, let's get back on to Shaving here. First two passes, super smooth. Great soap, by the way. If you've never tried Katie's Bubbles, it is outstanding. It has never let me down. It's been a favorite of mine since the, since the early days when I first start, started trying uh, Artisan uh, soaps. It was one of the first Artisan soaps I tried. Um, after, I think the first ever Artisan soaps that I tried was like um, actually Razor Rock. Um, but after that, you know, Katie's Bubbles, Mike's Natural Soap, you know, a lot of people forget about Mike's Natural Soap. He's been around forever. It's good stuff too. But don't sleep on the Katie's because, uh, he has a lot of great scents. I think he's a very good, um, perfumer in terms of, uh, coming up with scents. He does a fantastic job. And these, these soaps here, in my opinion, 
are good as any soap on the market in terms of even the ones with all the fancy ingredients these soaps perform just as well for me as any of the you know swanky five dollar per ounce soaps uh, katie's is just one of my favorite brands it will always be um, just because you know i like uh i like his prices they're quite good uh, of course i've i've broken bread with chris cullen i've you know met him in person a couple of times He's a nice guy, nice family guy. And uh, he said, makes a great soap, you know, <laughs> what can you say? And as you can see from the shave today, it's hitting the spot. This is a very relaxing scent for me. Kind of reminds me of spring, you know. It's, uh, it's on the brighter side. It is not earthy, in my opinion. And it just smells great. And it's one of those soaps that I think most people probably I don't think very many people would be put off by this scent. Um, I think it's pretty enjoyable for almost everybody because it's not earthy, uh, at least to me. Because some people just don't like earthy scents. I'm one of those people. And this one is bright, but it's not sweet. And it's just really an outstanding uh, soap. Very good residual slickness there, which of course you know we want. And uh, time tested, like I said, it's been around for many years now. I have put many a shave on Case Bubbles soap. I mean, I, I would say that I've used this brand as much as any brand and more than most brands because I've always, you know, really loved most of his scents. He's got some terrific ones. And uh, I really like it. What can I say? It's a good value. Good price, so check it out if you haven't. It's one that I can re recommend with no problems whatsoever, Katie Bubbles. Okay, let me rinse the face. We'll come back and get into it post, stay tuned. And all right, here we are back with the magic made by witches. There's witch hazel. That feels quite nice. This one is cucumber and it is uh, quite good. I did have one guy who hated the scent of this and it surprised me, I've never heard that or it's the only time I've ever heard it because this is a very mild, cucumber uh, scent. It's it's really, really mild. It's great stuff though. Okay, <clears throat> let's talk about what we use before we get to the aftershave. Katie's Bubbles, La Terra Verte. Very, very good soap. Great springtime soap, great anytime soap as far as I'm concerned. Grassy, light, bright, excellent. Big thumbs up. Our Polar G4, which I got on Amazon for I think $27. I'll put a link below if you're interested. This is a great brush at the cost. It's handsome, or at least it is for me. I love it. And it's got a really good knot on it, so I'm very pleased with it. Razor Rock Lupo. Stainless steel um, DLC. I absolutely love it. This is one of my best shavers. If I made a top shaving razors right now, this would be among the top without question. I absolutely love it. It is terrific. And we will finish off today with a little... I don't even know how to say that. It's vetiver. <laughs> I'm not going to try to say it today. I don't have the energy to butcher the uh, the aftershave. I think this is from uh, Italy. Yeah, it is made in Italy. Shout out to Matteo out there in Italy, man. Stay safe, brother. I know it's really, really rough over there in Italy um, right now. I'm thoughts and prayers out to you guys and hoping you'll get through this um, and remain healthy. And so we can enjoy communicating and enjoying each other's shades for many years to come. Please, everyone, stay safe. By the way, this is a vetiver scent. It's really, really nice. It doesn't hang around a long time, but it goes really nicely with this Katie's Bubbles Latera Verte. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate you coming by. Please, please, please stay safe, follow the protocols, and remember, until next time, it's your shave, do it your way, and of course, God bless.